Inshallah, we'll start uh, our program today, Hard Training, by listening to view verses from the Quran, we recited by Shaykh Abdul Majid. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أول بيت وضع للناس الذي ببكة مباركا وهدى للعالمين فيه آية So again, ahlan wa sahlan, welcome. Uh, inshallah, the hard training we have three time. Uh, so today we just focus to the fiqh. You know, because in Islam, when we do any ibadat, we uh, in order to be accepted. You know, whether it's hajj, salat, sadaqah, right? Have to be two two condition, right? Uh, number one is aniya, the intention, right? So we do anything have to be, so to know the niya, everything has to be the knowledge, right? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So it is hajj. So in Hajj, the same, we yeah, need uh, Niyah. <coughs> what Niyah mean? Intention. Intention, right? And it's very, very important. And you can see here, right? وَلِلَّهِ عَلَى النَّاسِ هِجُّ الْبَيْتِ مَنِ اسْتَطَعَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا 
ومن كفر فإن الله غني عن العالمين. When Allah command us to do anything, mostly said, يا أيها الذين آمنوا, right? Or you who believe, كتب عليكم الصيام. Or أقيم الصلاة وآت الزكاة. You understand? But you just said. يا أيها الذين آمنوا أن تحجوا أو حجوا. He didn't say that. He said, "ولله only for Allah." Okay. You understand? Only for Allah. لله. And then he said, "هج البيت." Right? Come here, brother. هج البيت. Because did you hear somebody after a pray he want to be called musalli? Nobody. Hey, I just pray. Call me musalli, okay? Or somebody finish fasting? Hey, call me. I saw him. Never. <laughs> but people come for Hajj when they come back. They want to be called what? Haji. Haji Hassan. Haji Abdullah. Haji Aisha. Right? That's have tendency. So therefore, Allah from the beginning said, "Be careful." Right? In some country, they even give uh, have to have a, a mark, like in the house have to put uh, the picture of Kaaba, so everybody know he just coming from. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So niya he aham mushay. It's most important in the Hajj. So Allah subhanahu wa taala from the beginning, right? And also. Uh, if somebody call you Hajj, it's okay. Like right? somebody else finish, hey, Hajj Abdullah, it's okay. This is the like, like, like honor. But if somebody didn't call Hajj, hey man, call me Hajj, okay? You yeah, spend seven thousand dollars and <laughs> don't call Hajj, right? So this is the first thing, yeah, niya. And this niya is not from before; it's continue. He said, "وَصَحِيهِ النِّيَّةَ قَبْلَ الْعَمَلِ وَأَتِبِهَا مَقْرُونَةً بِالْعَمَلِ." He said, "Correct your niya before you do it, and then continue. Because sometimes maybe you are not good, but when you are in the in the Hajj, right, and you making tawaf and you just pick up on, hey, I'm Makom Ibrahim, man, <laughs> right? I put in Facebook, you are still there, <laughs> right?" So it's gone, and also continue until you come home, right? Because we don't want that you spend a lot of money, energy, and then haba and manturo, and they just make you don't get nothing, right? So from the beginning you have to make sure that your niya, lillah, walillah si ala nasi hijul bait, right? Support your niya is correct. You know, for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, but that's not enough. The second one, any ibadah, need to follow the sunnah. You have to do it according to the sunnah. Yeah. Okay. So therefore, this is why hard training is very important because you will find a lot of people during the Hajj. They don't know what they do. Right? What after Arafat? What after Mina? You know, this is what Tawaf is. Tawaf Kulum, Tawaf Ifado. It is Haji Tamatu Haji. They need knowledge, right? Even in Salat, right? People sometimes maybe pray. You pray good, pray Fajr in Masjid, and after pray Fajr, he want to make extra, so he make Baadiyah to Fajr for Rokat. There's no Baadiyah Fajr. No prayer after Fajr, right? But he thought I'm going to make extra, and this happened one day. The story: I was I used to work as a guide from uh, to guide Indonesian Hajj when I was student. So everybody went back home and finished dinner, and somebody just come very tired. I said, "Why are you late?" Oh man, everybody weak. They just made off seven times. I did fourteen times. <laughs> so he thought by doing fourteen times, you get more reward. <laughs> Why? Because he didn't follow the sunnah. No knowledge. 
right? So it's very, very important that, uh, so therefore why, especially in Hajj, even the Sahaba, Rasulullah always appointed somebody. That's it, Wahad Jamsimahu. You call um, Al Mutawif. I remember that was Mutawif. Even Sahaba, because Hajj is like you, you drive the car. In the beginning, somebody had to guide you, right? So even me, I was our student in, in Azhar, you know, when, when the first time I got, somebody need to guide. So Rasulullah Allah pointed somebody to. Because something also we already know, but something you forget. When you are, you know, you see the Kaabah, and you always to do now, right? <laughs> something you forget, right? So that's first one, so, yeah. No, Fadaw ibn Hajj. What's the external of Hajj? Right? It said, Hajj, one of the best deed. Right? Somebody asked Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah, ma afdalul a'mal. What is the best deed? It said, Hajj Mabrur. <laughs> the best deed is Hajj Mabrur. Right? Number two, Hajj is form of jihad. So if you are dying during the Hajj, that means what? You are what? Mujahid, Shaheed. And the one who died in Hajj, you know, when they are resurrected, they go into wearing ihram. Said, Labbaik, Allahumma Labbaik. Yeah? We had many experience in our, in our group. One of them, I think his name, George. George, he's American. You know, when, when we, we flew, he said, I designed this airplane. <laughs> he worked for Boeing. And very interesting, during the Hajj, he never complained. This is very important for all of you. More you complain in Hajj, more Allah tests you. You can ask doctor, doctor many times. <coughs> many people complain in Hajj, complain is too hot, complain the food, you know, in Mina too squeezed and all this. More you complain, Allah SWT will give him more trouble. <laughs> so when you come to Hajj, khalas, I am ready. Whatever happened to me, this is good, right? So this had to be have in, in your heart. So this man, always happy. He never complained. And then we was in Mina, you know, he was uh, have a sick little bit. He was on a wheelchair and I give a, a lecture. After, after Salah, we have lecture. And then uh, he had to go to hospital. Then my wife texted me, said I have to go to hospital. So I went to hospital. He was laid down, wearing a haram in Mina. And asked doctor, said, doctor did CPR, it's not work. He said, it's no hope. So I came to him, he was, I said, George said, La ilaha Allah. I can see his lip is moving. La ilaha Allah. His wife was there, and he died. <laughs> yeah, he died wearing a haram. Yeah. So, his jihad, right? Hajj wipe out past sin. Man hajja, falam yarfus, walam yafsuk, right? Roja'a ka yawmi walatu ummu. If someone make hajj, and during hajj, falam yarfus, that means he does he say a bad word, call name, not angry. Falam yafsuk, he don't do evil, right? When he return, right? Everything in the past forgiven, the Prophet said, like a baby just born. Subhanallah. This is the reason why people in the village in Indonesia, many places, they sold their farm, everything for Hajj. Because you want to be clean. Right? Hajj, pilgrims, are Allah's guests. So when you come to the Hajj, it's Allah, you are not uh, King Salman guest. <laughs> you are the guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Daikullah. View for Rahman. The reward of Hajj is paradise. Al Hajjul Mabrur, Laisalahu Jaza illal Jannah. For Hajj Mabrur, there is no reward except Jan Jannah. Yeah. And also, the money that you spend in Hajj is like the money you spend for Jihad Visabilla. So after you spend that money, don't feel, oh man, why I have to spend for Hajj? Right? Because the spend it is a bit And also, it said the money spent for Hajj will increase. 
Did you hear somebody said, oh man, I bankrupt, why? I make Hajj. <laughs> you never. And many people come with me, and he has lost job. You know, he was desperate, and Hajj, and come back, he find a better job. Right? But we had to be sincere. Any money to spend for Hajj. What's the condition for Hajj? Number one, I must be Muslim. So when you drive the car, you enter Makkah, you will see, say non-Muslim, turn right. Non-Muslim, turn right. So one, one, uh, one uh, brother, he's from Korea, but he's Muslim. <laughs> you drive in a car and the police stop. Ta'ana. I said, he couldn't speak Arabic. He said, Muslim. La, 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 la. Yalla. <laughs> right? So, uh, somebody have to trust it to him. So he, he come. <laughs> and then when he found, he said, he was Muhammad Wing. His name Muhammad Wing. He said, what was his name? Muhammad. <laughs> right? So he had to be Muslim. Must to be adults. Right? If you bring your children before adults, you know, they have to make hajj again when they are able to do it. Must be in sound state of mind, it's not crazy. Must be free, right? Must have necessary power and ability. Remember in the ayah we mentioned, it said, Man is sabila, who able to avoid it. That means they have money to go, they have money also for his family. You cannot go hajj and your family is bankrupt. Yeah. Uh, type of hajj. You know, and what will Hajj? Awalan al Ifrad. Al Ifrad, and Tamal Hajj, Thumal Umrah. Hijrat, you do Hajj and then Umrah. You know, the word Farad means one, right? And this one, mostly the people who came from uh, from Makkah, from Gulf country, they can do Ifrad, right? Because it's difficult for us to do Ifrad. Because we have to be in Makkah uh, at least eight days before the Hajj. Uh, on the fourth of the Hijjah, Jida will be closed. No one allowed to enter Makkah. Right? All the programming had to be uh, come before that. And one time happened, uh, the group uh, landing in London, but it will be arrived in Jida on the fourth. So the IFP didn't want to bring them. And they had to go back. Because <laughs> they had to pay the pre penalty. He had to be there before 12 o'clock. Right? But people mostly, like ambassador, minister, come the day before. So they can do ifrod. Right? And in ifrod, there's no dam. Dam means no slaughter the, the lamb. Right? So ifrod means you do hajj, finish hajj, after finish hajj, and then you do umrah. What they call ifrod, right? So we not do hajj ifrod because impossible. Because it's me if you be living on, on, on 27, right? And you have to leave all that is wrong <laughs> 15 days, impossible. Because you're going to, you have to take shower, you have to wear shampoo, and you cannot do that all. During the ihram, you cannot wear that, right? And then tamattu, this is the, the hajj you're going to do, tamattu. You know, and ta'mal umrah, thumal hajj. To do umrah and then hajj. So we're going to Makkah, the first, then do umrah. And you go to Medina, right? And you go back to Makkah again. You can do umrah again or not, right? And then you wait until the time of hajj. Then you're wearing ihram again. So tamattu, mean uh, from the word tamatta in Arabic mean you enjoy because after umrah you, you enjoy you no know? you can take shower you can use shampoo you can do whatever you want you know your husband wife can have relationship in all this and because of that you have to pay dub and the ulama said tamattu is better than the others because you have what sacrifice in tamattu you have to pay the dub dub mean you slaughter a lamb Right, let's call dumb. Dumb in blood, right? So you have to shed the blood. Right? Yeah. So what if fraud mean? You do hajj and then umrah. 
tamattu you do umrah and then hajj right so we're going to do what tamattu right number three called quran you know and tajma bain al hajj wal umrah to do hajj and umrah in the same time but seven time not 14 time the the tawaf right the sa'i the same but the intention he combined so there were some ulama said you can combine the qada fasting with shawwal sunnah shawwal right you know you combine what because some sister for example, for example you know i want to get reward of shawwal but also i want to pay the qada because i missed the fasting so you can combine Oh, you come to masjid. What the first thing you come to masjid? Tahiyyat to masjid. But after three minutes, there will be Salat al-Dohr. So you combine with Qabliyat al-Dohr. So your intention what? Tahiyyat al-Masjid and Qabliyat al-Dohr. You can combine it. Right? And Qiran, mostly people are a business people. They are in hurry. Because after finish, they have to go. <laughs> right? They call Kiran. So in Kiran also have to pay them. Right? So dam, we have to start off when you do tamatwa and you do what? Kiran. Kiran. They have dam. If fraud, no dam. Right? So the first we talk about performing Umrah. Yeah? Remember Umrah is what? Sunnah. Umrah is Sunnah. You can go Umrah anytime. But when you do Hajj, Umrah become wajib. Wa atimul hajj wal umrah tanillah. He said complete hajj and umrah. So if you do hajj, you don't do umrah, your hajj not complete. Wudu is sunnah. We do wudu, okay. But when you're going to pray, you have to make wudu. So wudu become wajib. <laughs> so the same with umrah. Umrah become wajib. Right? So where ihram, right? That's the first thing. We're going to talk inshallah about ihram for man, for woman, right? And then intention, right? It's different between ihram and intention. So for example, inshallah we're going to, uh, what do you call? Wearing ihram in Amman, right? In Amman, Jordan, right? So wearing ihram, just ihram. No intention yet. You're going to ride the plane, and then we're going to make announcement. They say we are approaching Makkah. Let's make intention because you have to delay intention. Because as soon you make intention, you are in the set of Umrah. You know, and all the hard restriction had to follow. Right. So we, we delay intention also, right? So and then in Alpen, Tam said, "Nawaitul Umrata." وَأَحْرَمْتُ بِهَا لِلَّهِ تَعَالَىٰ أَوْ لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ الْأُمْرَةِ I intend to do Umrah. Khalas, after that, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ لَبَّيْكَ لَبَّيْكَ لَا شَرِكَ لَكَ لَبَّيْكَ So all, you cannot be in perfume, you cannot cut your, 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 your nail, many things, that section has to be followed, khalas. Anything you violated, you have to pay them. Right? So the, so wearing ihram and intention is different. Right? Wearing ihram, so therefore, it is very good for the man, for example, when, when you are wearing ihram, so you cannot wear the kufi, no pen, right? No shush. And sometimes people forget. You know, because you, you, they put the shoes in, what you call the sandal in, in the, the luggage, right? And then there's a, <laughs> you have to barefoot. <laughs> or wearing shoes and then you have to pay them, right? So, so inshallah my wife will send you what you have to bring and carry on that what you need for you so as soon you enter Makkah right the first thing you do what you do tawaf and this tawaf combine as again because you just enter Makkah so you have to do tawaf what when you enter masjid what you do tahiyat al masjid when you enter masjid haram what the first thing you do tawaf and the first time you call Tawaf al Qudum. <coughs> tawaf al Qudum. Right? Anytime you come from area anywhere, the first thing you come to Makkah is Sunnah to the Tawaf Qudum. Right? 
But now you're doing Umrah. You have to do, you know, seven and then you do Tawaf for Umrah. No. Right? So you make intention. Nawaitu Tawaf al Qudum al Umrah. I intend to do Tawaf Qudum and Umrah. Just seven times. The niyah for both. You understand? So when you enter Makkah, the first thing you're going to do Umrah, you intend to do what? Tawaf Qudum and Tawaf Umrah. Only seven times. Right? In Tawaf Qudum, it is Sunnah that meant to open the, the right shoulder. Only the th three times. But the next Umrah, you do the Umrah, you don't, it's not Sunnah to open. Only the beginning. Because when Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the first thing he do what? He do uh, Hajj. The people in Makkah spread the rumors that the Muslim weak and you know their body also have defect, no good, right? So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked us, the Sahaba, to open their soldiers. You know the Makkah was watching in the windows and you know, all this because the rumors were spread. This Muslim is ugly, their body is ugly. So they were always covered. Is right? So this is also just use, 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 use politics. <laughs> and also Sunnah, in the beginning, you know, you have a judging. Right? So Sula, wow! They are, their body, mashallah, is good. And also they are strong. <laughs> that's the first purpose, right? You know, but there's no kafir anymore. That, but still, we do it to follow the Sunnah. Because the purpose is not there anymore. Because people around Makkah are all Muslim, right? We do it because the continue with the Sunnah of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? So we have Tawaf, uh, Tawaf Kudum and Tawaf Umrah, right? At the same time, at the same time. So after finish the Tawaf, we pray in Maqam Ibrahim. It's a Sunnah, right? So pray in Maqam Ibrahim, two rakats. Right? Wattakidu mimma qawmi Ibrahim musalla Maqam Ibrahim used to be correct to the Kaaba. And after pray, you had to pray sunnah, right? So, uh, when the, the, the people, you know, increase and increase during Umar time, sometimes become obstacle, people make tawaf. Because people pray here, and you have to go. So Umar moved it, Maqam Ibrahim. Little bit far from the Kaaba, right? And also, it, it's not necessary to be exactly. You can be a little bit far away, as long as the same direction with Maqam Ibrahim, right? Uh, Rasulullah SAW, he loved to pray always when he was Makkah in Maqam Ibrahim, because by praying there, you facing two Qibla, Kaaba and Masjid Al Aqsa, right? Yeah. So after you pray in Maqam Ibrahim, right, it is sunnah to drink Zamzam, right? You mind one. On the way, you go to the, uh, what you call, place for Sayi, there's Zamzam. You drink Zamzam, you know. Alhamdulillah, now it's easier. Before, if you want to go to Sayi, you have to, to cross people making tawaf. First floor, but now Alhamdulillah, they make a tunnel. And you go up like this, and then you find the Sayi, right? So you go to the place for Sayi called Masa'a, right? And then you're facing the, the Kaaba, you know? I said, Inna Sofa, I said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Inna Sofa, Wal Marwata Min Sha'idillah, right? You can find in the book, inshallah, we will give to you. So, and then you do Sayi. Sayi start from what? From Safa, right? So we have Safa, right? And then Marwa. Yeah. So, when you do Tawaf Safa, so here what? One, right? And then come back here, become two. You make again three. And then here what? Four. Right? And then five. And then six. 
and then seven. It's very very important. That means in Marwa always odd number. When you are in Marwa, you are at odd number. Right? Because one day uh, people in our group, and for some reason, you know, he missed the group. So mix are you alone? And come home. So tired. I say why? So what happened? What he did? So he come here. One. And then one. So so far Marwa one. So far Marwa two. <laughs> so far Marwa. <laughs> so that means he did what? Fourteen time. Because in the when you read in English, sometimes that's what you understood. He said you make circle seven times. What does circle mean? Like this, right? <laughs> you did in the say uh, circle seven times. So like this. I said, oh man, the most difficult and hard is Sai. <laughs> of course, 14 times. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So this is why important. We have knowledge about. Huh? This turn maybe half mine. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you're not able to walk, so you can use the the wheelchair also. Right. But I saw people 70 and right, just walking. Yeah, something over there. Your your spirit, your spirit is changed. You feel weak here, and suddenly over there you look like young man, right? And I was very fantastic, very funny. I feel this, the brother he was seventy. He's from Fiji. You know when you see the green light, you have to run. And these young people, he beat all of them. <laughs> he was seventy. He beat all the young people. <laughs> yeah. So Sai, so Sai ended where in Marwa. So you can see Marwa, right? But sometimes, sometimes if you are in the in the first time, you say in second floor, look like the same, the end, right? Always we ended what Sai in the in the Marwa, right? You finish make dua to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and then you do tahallul. Tahallul means make it halal. How to make it halal? By shaving your hair. Halas, right? Either you can shave all if you are the first time you come for Hajj, it is Sunnah to shave all because when Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said, "Wal muhalliqin," the one who shaved the hair, and said, "Wal muqassirin," how about just trim it? I said, "Wal muhalliqin," I said, "The one who shaved." Wal muqassirin, wal muhalliqin, three times, and then said. Wal muqassirin, muqassirin. <laughs> yeah, some Sahaba they three miss, but most the majority is. But if you are the first time, it is good, you know, to do bald head, you know. Yeah. But if you already, if you already uh, uh, no hair like this brother, so don't worry. Just take knife <laughs> and just <laughs> just pass it like this. <laughs> Yeah. Brother, brother. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you understand again? So you can put the the knife. We just sunnah to we we shaping after umrah or after hajj. Some ulama said after the first umrah, but majority say after the hajj. If you're going to make another umrah, you just trim it a little bit. Imam Shafi said at least three hair. Just like this, and what? And you do more again, little bit, right? And then after hard, and then you shave it. Because when you do akika, when you are baby, you shave, right? It is second time, because you want to be clean now. And the prophet said, every hair that mean will work out your sin. So how many hair you have? Nobody know, right? If you have one thousand hair, that's one thousand sin. Allah inshallah God, yeah, sunnah. Yeah. So we talk about our kudum, we combine kudum and, and umrah, right? Seven times. Yeah, this is the place Ayi, this long time ago. It's the same. Yeah. So inshallah, uh, welcome here. Brothers, come here. Brother. Yeah. 
uh, in the next uh, hard setting, inshallah, we're going to talk about the, the wisdom. Why do Umrah? Why do Sa'i? Right? And also, uh, don't worry, uh, before we do anything, we're going to have class. Because something you know already, but we're going to do now. Right? Or the Jamarat. So I'll talk about Jamarat. I'll talk about Tawaf. So don't worry about that. Right? We're going to, because we need to refresh. You know, what you, in, the, in the fiqh area and also in the, the wisdom behind all of this. Right? And it's, it's to know the wisdom, to know the, you know, the background and the story, you know, is we can bring me more khushu. Right? When I talk about Tawaf and I talk about Adam alayhi salam, Right, and you can give visualize. And so by the way, also we'll talk a lot, a lot about Ibrahim and Ismail and Hajar, because basically you make Hajj like you 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 are in Hollywood. What we are doing in Hollywood? Making movie. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala want you to be actor. So one time you need to be like Ibrahim alayhi salam, something like even Ismail, something like Hajar. <laughs> You know, if you want to be a good actor to play that role, what you have to do? You have to read the story, right? I invite you to to watch the movie called Umar Khattab. Did you watch Umar Khattab? Very good movie. Umar Khattab. A lot of people, a lot of young people, alhamdulillah, they pray Fajr, they, they really... Because the actor who play for Umar, even me, I'm crying something, wow. He, he can, he can, what you call, act like, like we, you know, you talk about Umar a lot. Wow, this this might be just, just tiny, but he can act like that, right? This affect you. So, Shafi the hair, yeah, our training, and and after you 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 do tahallul, so the umrah is done. So, without tahallul, you cannot change your clothes. You cannot take shower with shampoo with the soap. You cannot use perfume, right? Uh, so many the restriction of umrah had to be there. So because some people happen, you know, after tired of umrah, he forget to shave. He come home wearing shampoo. Oh, oh man, I did it halal. <laughs> so he had to pay them. He had to slaughter one lamb, <laughs> right? They had to spend money because he violating, right? So make sure before, um, when you're done Hajj, you done Umrah, you have to do what? Tahallul, yeah? And also, uh, when you shave your hair, you know, people will, 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 will uh, but people were going to bring the, what you call it? To the red, yeah, red, yeah, red, yeah, in the street. So don't do that. Because sometimes they, they do it for 10 people, just the same. <laughs> 10 real is cheap. <laughs> so you go to the barber, you are shit, right? Because they are, have a license, right? Because I saw some people like, people on the street, like, like you, you, you saw the, the chicken, right? And it's bleeding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we are finished with what? With the Umrah. Right? So now what do we do? We just we go to masjid every day. Just pray five times a day. Right? And try and don't miss any prayer. Right? What's the reward of praying in, in Masjid Haram? 100,000. 100,000. If you pray Jama'ah in the masjid, 100 times, 27. Subhanallah. If you pray Khamsa Salawat, so can you count how many does? Anybody go with math? You know, 20, uh, uh, 100,000 times 27, right? And then uh, you pray what? 19 rakat, right? Yeah? How much? 17. Yeah, 17 rakat. You pray 17 rakat. You pray five days, five days, okay. So how much? Anybody can call? Four years. Three hundred fifty million. Huh? Three hundred fifty million. Three hundred and fifty million. That's one day, and it's, and then the second day, <laughs> right? Subhanallah, right? Don't miss it. 
But those men don't, don't misunderstand. And some people come home, they don't want to pray again. Why? I still have lots. <laughs> My deposit. <laughs> right? So then what? You go to Medina? Right? Inshallah, next time we talk about Medina. Right? You pray, uh, pray Masjid Nabawi. Right? How much you get from Masjid Nabawi? What reward you get? You just pray one lakat. One thousand. Masjid Nabawi, one thousand. Right? And then you come back to Makkah. Right? You know, on the sick, and you just decrease. And then on the seven, at, at night, you prepare to go to Mina. Right? Because on the eighth of Dhul-Hijjah, eighth of Dhul-Hijjah, will be in, in Mina. Right? Yeah. So do we wear ihram in between or no ihram after? No, 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 no ihram, no ihram, yeah. No ihram, no ihram until the eighth of Dhul-Hijjah. So after the you can take the ihram off. Take the ihram off. And then if you want to go uh, make umrah again, just wearing ihram. And then the same procedure. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. So I put on the eighth, but you had to prepare on the seventh of the hijjah. Yeah. I think uh, you will see the program only. My wife can send you the the detail, right? What day and all this, right? So if the hijjah. Uh, going out to Mina, right? Uh, this is not wajib. This is not wajib. It is sun sunnah. You understand, right? If the hijjah going to Mina is not wajib, but is sun sunnah, because most people from Indonesia, from Bangladesh, they they go direct to Mina on the eighth. So a nine will be in Mina. But Rasulullah Sallam. You know, he went to Mina. So you follow the Sunnah of Rasulullah step by step. Rasulullah SAW on the 8th of the Hijjah, he is in Mina. But, as soon as you are wearing Ihram, and you are in Mina, that's it, you are in Hajj now. You can go back to Makkah. So therefore, before we leave in Salma, we're going to make an announcement, you have to bring the medicine, anything that you need. Because you go back to Mina, you have to pay them, that means you're violating. Khalas. So, so basically, Had is like military. Eight in Mina, nine you are in Arafat, right? Ten you are in Musdalifah. <laughs> you have to be. I'm, I'm ready, because <laughs> Allah wants me to discipline. <laughs> Just as long discipline, right? So what you do in, in in Mina on this day? Just do ibadah. It's people call it Mina, also called Muna. Muna means the hope. This is the good time to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, it is very important because the most important in Hajj what? Arafat. So if before you meet Allah in Arafat, you're doing the best dua in Arafat, you need what? You have to be relaxed, preparation. Like like the bride, before the groom come, they, you know, hey, don't look, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> People like that. You know, we're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you have any preparation, spiritually. So the reason also pray sunnah, you know when you're going to masjid, you pray sunnah, because by praying sunnah, you have preparation for a pray wajib. So therefore it's good to come to masjid earlier, because if you, you just watch on TV, you know, you know, the Indian movie. And then you just pray, Allahu Akbar. What do you mind? Oh. Why well, he had to kill her? <laughs> it's, you might not talk about <laughs> Yeah? The preparation. So Mina is for preparation. What are you going to do? You're going to pray Dhuhr. In Mina, it is not Sunnah. You know, all of us, all of us Musafir. That means you can combine Salat in, as Musafir. But in Mina, it's not Sunnah to combine. Because you are relaxed. So you're going to pray Dhuhr alone. And after the whole, we have to have, uh, going to have a uh, khatira lecture. And you're going to pray Asar, pray Maghrib, pray Isha, and then you sleep. Then in the morning, you take shower, you know, and then inshallah by about 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, you are heading toward the, the Arafat. Eh? Departing to Arafat on spending the day in Arafat. Right? That's, we are now in the 9th of Dhul Hijjah. This is called Al Hajju Arafat. If you miss Mina, your Hajj okay. But if you miss Arafat, 
he had to come back next year. Uh, what time you have to be there in Arafat after Dhuhr? So the timing of Arafat is what? After Dhuhr, Ba'da Dhuhr. Had waktu Arafat, waktu al-wukuf. So therefore when you come to Arafat, don't make not dua, just relax, sleep, you know, you will be ready. So as soon as the whole time, you are fresh. So this is very important, knowing the time. Knowing it's very important. Because I saw people come early, 8 o'clock, and the time of Arafat, he was early. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get the blessing, because you know, he, you know, or for example, we can to have a tour before we go to, inshallah, when we are in Makkah, before Hajj, we can have tour. And one of tour, we go to Arafat. Because during, during the Hajj, you don't have time to go to the mountain of Ar-Rahman. We have been far away from that. Right? So when you go to Arafat during tour time, Arafat is nothing, like any mountain. And one day, we was looking for somebody, he was making dua in the tomb. It's not Arafat time. <laughs> the value is the same, no value, right? So sometimes there is a, there is a place that have value during what? According to time. So Jabal Rahma, they have value during the our Arafat, during the Arafat time at nine. After nine is no value. The dua are different, right? Even if dua. Yeah. So the time is from what? From door until Fajr. So if you come at midnight, you still. The reason I say that something somebody might be sick. You know, I have to be in hospital. So the ambulance will bring them into the Arafat. Something the helicopter, because <laughs> he's very sick, maybe in coma. So just make to make this is he correct. You will see the helicopter. So many things are going to happen in Hajj, right? And they know that their responsibility, their, their responsibility to bring all the Hajj in Arafat, right? And have a sign, mostly mostly uh, yellow sign. This is the beginning of Arafat. This is the end of Arafat. So you make sure when you are in Arafat, you are inside. Because sometimes somebody get lost. They know what's that, right? So, the important. And how long? Uh, you know, as you can. But it's better to leave Arafat after Maghrib. As soon as sun, sun, sunset, then you leave. Don't leave before sunset. Because that's the moment Allah SWT is going to call what? The angel. Ya malaikati. He said, Unduru, he said, look down. This is my 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 slave come from all the corner of the world right this is what happened during a solo time right so last month i called bilal bilal called people come closer so people come closer so jabil just told me about what happened so look down and bear witness you know magfur that all people who are here they are forgiven when Rasulullah said that the sahaba said there's so only for us? I said, no. For everybody come to Arafat. So therefore said, Shaitan, he never cry, barely cry, you know, unless during the Arafat time. Because could be somebody, he'll become candidate of hellfire. Shaitan said, oh, we are my best friend. <laughs> and Alhamdulillah, on that year, he come to Hajj, and he among the people who forgive them. Yeah? So therefore, uh, uh, inshallah, we're going to talk about Arafat a lot when we are there. Uh, so therefore, we have to prepare with all kind of dua, all kind of requests. Every second is beneficial in Arafat. Right? We have to have least everything we're going to say. Right? And we'll talk, about, inshallah, also what the best dua in Arafat. So after Maghrib, you know, we're departing from Arafat to where? To Muzdalifa. Right? Muzdalifa from the word is Dalafa. Is Dalafa means people moving in crowd. You know, moving what? In crowd. Yes, Dalifun. Like a flood. Right? وَإِذَا أَفَدْتُمْ مِنْ أَرَفَاتٍ فَذْكُرُ اللَّهِ إِنَّ الْمَشْأَرِ الْحَرَامِ So when you finish Bukum Arafat, they said, Remember Allah, in the Mash'ar al-Haram. The Quran used the word Mash'ar al-Haram. Muzdalifa the word from the Hadith. There's no word Muzdalifa in the Quran. It's called Mash'ar al-Haram. 
Mash are something that you, you feel it. You can see this. The, in Arabic called shi'ar, right? وَمَنْ يُعَذِّمْ شَعَائِرُ اللَّهِ One of the symbols of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Muzdarifa is a symbol that you are nothing. You are homeless. There's no building, nothing. Look at this here. People, so, okay, you're going to sleep on the, like, like parking lot. Right? Whether you are doctor, you are engineer, you are minister, you are there. <laughs> That's Muzdalifah. That's a good, very good experience. Ha had the best experience is Muzdalifah. And the best sleep in Muzdalifah. <laughs> and sleeping is ibadah, Muzdalifah. They call Mabit. Mabit in Muzdalifah. Mabit means what? Sleep. It's a sunnah to have Mabit in Muzdalifah. Right? So when you come to Muzdalifah, you're going to pray what? Maghrib and Isa. So the sunnah, not pray in Arafat. You pray Maghrib Isa in Muzdalifah. You pray Maghrib, you pray Isha, you pray Witir, you make Dua to Allah SWT, and then you're looking for the stone, right? And then you sleep. And then after midnight, you get to wake up again, right? You know, if you try to study this, Allah SWT said, hey, you're going to fight. When you're when you going to fight, what do you need? Yes. Preparation. You're going to fight against what? Shaitan. <laughs> you have to be in darkness. Prepare with weapons. So why you take the bullet in Muzdalifah, right? <laughs> you understand it. <laughs> right? So you are in the morning, you are facing with Shaitan. <laughs> right? And we are going also to have tour to look at the Shaitan. You know, one day we will have tour with the, with the bus. I will find you there. In the Hajj. <laughs> you talk to the Shaitan. Right? So, he Muzdalifa, and then uh, he living Muzdalifa. We go to Mina. So this is the pictures of, of, of course, of the Jamarat a long time ago. No, the Shaitan is big. <laughs> Before it's small, right? And this is people. People died here, right? And no, Alhamdulillah, it's the easiest one. No, it's, it's, it's stoning, right? So we are now. So remember, uh, in Mina and in, in Arafat, we are on the ninth, right? So. And remember also, the day in, in, in the Islamic calendar start not mid, in uh, midnight. When it start? Maghrib. Maghrib. So therefore when tomorrow, we said tomorrow Ramadan, we're going to pray what? Taraweeh. Because all, you are already in Ramadan. Right? So basically when you are finished in Arafat, Maghrib came, you are on the Eid. You can just hear, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Eid, no? So it's the best people will, will go to Muzdalifah and make it takbir. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Yeah, you are on the Eid, so you are on the Tayyar Abdul Hijjah. So what you have to do at this point to do when you are arrive in Mina, you go to Jamarat. Jamarat is in Mina, right? In the end of Mina, close to Makkah. So this is our tent here, for example, in Makkah there. So before Makkah, they have uh, Jamarat, they have three Jamarat. Right? So on that day, only stone the biggest Jamarat. <coughs> called Al Jamratul Kubro. We have Jamratul Sugro, Wusto, and Kubro. So on this day, you know, we have to know you only to stone what? Jamratul Kubro. In order to stone Jamratul Kubro, you have to pass Jamratul Ula, Jamratul Wusto. <laughs> we don't have knowledge, maybe, oh, that's closer to me any time, then go <laughs> and go home. <laughs> no. You know. But now, alhamdulillah, the police will, will, will surrender the, the Jamratul Ula and so forth, so he knows that nobody can stone here. Right? So only... So inshallah, we'll talk about the, the etiquette or, or the doing Jamarat, what to say, what the dua, right? So you are on that until Hijjah, right? This is the three Jamarat, inshallah, we'll talk next time. And then, Salat of Sacrifice. So, a long time ago, people after Jamarat, they go to the, the Mazara. Mazara means the slaughterhouse, house. Right? No impossible. We have three million people. Right? <laughs> so, therefore, now we already appointed somebody. Right? So, we call them, say, we finish everything. Now we can slaughter. Right? 
So you, you don't take it. Because you, you go to slaughtering, I don't know what time you go to Makkah. <laughs> right? It's impossible, right? So they go to slaughter. You know, uh, you know this, is, this is how, what, we, what, what I, I'm presented to you know, this is how Rasulullah make Hajj. Right? But this can, this, because some Sahaba were going to do it differently because there was, for example, before go to Jamarat, they was in slaughtering house. So they slaughter there first and they go to Jamarat. Right? But this is how Rasulullah do. So now you finish and then you shaving the head or trimming the hair. Right? This means what? To make everything so you can wearing what? New clothes now. Right? But now it's very difficult now because you are now far away from your tents, from your hotels, right? And also not allowed to to carry a backpack. When you enter tenant, they will draw you. Right? It's for security reason. Yeah. So after that you can change the clothes, but mostly we not change the clothes because the clothes in our, in our hotels. So you can continue with the, the ihram, right? So, this, this, so, you can, so therefore you can even del delay the shaping until you, you finish the top of everything, right? So now, after, uh, okay, you do jamarat, shaving your hair, or you're not shaving the hair, and then you go to Makkah. What are you going to do? This top of ifado. So basically, in, in the Hajj, the Hajj have two Rukun. Arkanul Hajj. You know, in Salat, we have, we have Arkanul, Arkanul Salah, right? What does Rukun mean? What, what, what is Rukun? Rukun the pillars. Rukun mean the pillars. Arkan, right? Pillars. In the Hajj, you have uh, talk about this wajibat. Wajibat is you have mandatory. Right? If you cannot do mandatory, you can replace uh, with the dam, slaughtering lamb. But if you not do the rukun, your heart is invalid. You have to come again. You know what I mean? So what the rukun of Hajj? Rukun of Hajj, right? Is Wukuf Arafat. Wukuf in Arafat. So Wukuf in Arafat is the pillar of the Rukun of Rukun. Right? Rukun. You know, Jama Arkan, Rukun of, of Hajj is Wukuf in Arafat. What is the second one? Tawaf Ifada. Tawaf Ifada. So this is what the, the, the pillar of Hajj. Anything you miss, for example, uh, you don't do Jamarat. I was sick. Somebody can, can do it for you. Or you can stay in Mina because staying in Mina is wajib. Staying in Muzdalifa is wajib. But some people, sometimes this happened. Uh, doctor said he cannot stay here. He took the ambulance in there. So he had to pay what? Dam. But if you're not good to Awkuf Arafat, and so this is very important for the woman. Because maybe you have a period during the Tawaf Ifado. So you have to make preparation, you have to know when your period will come. So you have to eat medicine. Because you cannot wait, because the airplane cannot change. <laughs> right? So this is, you have to talk with my wife during the time, so you have to make measure when the time that you have a period. Tawai father. But Tawai father, if you, for some reason, you couldn't make it, you can come anytime back to Makkah, just to complete it. Right? But Wukuf, you cannot. Because Wukuf have time. Wukuf only on the ninth. After nine, so Tawa Ifado, you can delay, right? You can delay any time, but you have to come back, right? So this, inshallah, we'll talk about what's wajib, what's sunnah in, 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 in Hajj, right? 
So you are finished tawaf ifada seven times, and then sayi the same, right? Uh, and then you're going to go back first in our group to our building to take rest to sleep, and inshallah after maghrib we go back return to Mina to continue our Hajj, right? So now we are on the 11 and 12. You can understand Mina, we pray five times a day in Mina, and then in, in the afternoon, or at mostly we're leaving after Asar or to Maghrib, you go back to, to Jamarat, right? This is Jamarat now. Jamarat is inside this building. We have uh, four levels now. So if the first floor, floor is crowded, you go second one, third one, and continue. But very interesting now, if you are miss the first, Jamarat, you cannot go back. The police not allow you. You know, this is also for security reason because if everybody come back then, right? So it is very important to know because you have to go. When you go back, we have to go, go down and come back again, right? Yeah. So inshallah, we all inshallah we organize good. We have play everything. We'll be together inshallah. Yeah. So uh, uh, on this day, we're going to do you know the first one. Called, what do you call this? Jamratul Ula. Jamratul Ula. Right? How long? How many? Seven times. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Right? Yeah, we'll talk inshallah about the, how, how big the stone. Right? Because some people make like this. <laughs> I said, why? So Shaitan can feel it. <laughs> Also not too small because too small I get on them go somewhere, right? <laughs> right? So you finish and also it is very important uh, technique, right? When you're stoning, don't count it. You just put seven here. So you're already seven, right? Seven? Okay. So it's seven, just wait. Bismillah Allahu Akbar, Allah Akbar. Because sometimes you don't you put for example a lot here. Bismillah Akbar is one. How many, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're confused, right? And sometimes you have to stone for somebody. I mean, your wife's sick, somebody odd. So you have to stone yourself first, and then for the others. Right? So after you finish you, okay, this is stone for brother this and this, and then you stone for them. Yeah, this is you get the word from that. After you stone here, you, go, you look at the, uh, the Qibla, you make du'a, and du'a in the Jamarat is maqbul. Right? Wow. And then you go to the second one. You're going to be together. So because after finish stone, you have to wait for everybody finish. Right? You see the flag, a Rahman flag. So you see, make dua to Allah Taala, and then you continue. The second one, what do you call? Jamratul Wusta. The same. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Seven time. You look at the uh, Makkah. You make dua to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Right? And then the last one. So the last one is what? Jamratul Kubro. The big one. Kubro means big. Right? You stone seven times, but no dua. After the last one, it's no dua. You know? So remember this. We are here in Mina. So after, if you go continue, it's Makkah. Right? You have to go back to Mina. Right? This is where we are in Mina now. So we are in Mina. This is Mina, 10. Right? So 11. Then 12, you do the same again. Jamarat, you know, Ula, Wusto, and Kubro. But on the 12th, after you finish, you not go here, you go to Makkah. Call us. The bus will wait for you, you go to Makkah. You are finished. If you get lost, and you just go around and you are in Mina, and Maghrib came, you have to stay in Mina. You what? You stay in Mina. And you have to start again the next day. <laughs> So they call, they call Nafar Ula and Nafar Thani, right? And both is, is, is the same reward. The Guru said, فَمَنْ تَعَجَّنَا فِي يَوْمَيْنِ فَلَا إِثْمَ عَلَيْهِ وَمَنْ تَأَخْرَ فَلَا إِثْمَ عَلَيْهِ Who do stone today, 11 and 12, good. And who do also on the 13th is also no sin. You can continue. Some people from Indonesia, Bangladesh, they say, we're going to stay one month there, 
So just stay there. <laughs> you know, but for us, difficult. Because the next day we have to leave. Right? Yeah. But you have to know the rule. Remember that. If you are Maghrib in Mina, what you have to do? You have to stay in Mina. Not <laughs> Mina. And you have to stone again. Right? So, so everything now is done. The Umrah is done, the Hajj is done. The only thing we not do yet, what? Tawaf Wada. Bye bye. Very well. So Tawaf Wada had to be what? The last thing. Wada mean what? Say goodbye. Right? You know, in Arabic they have called Wada and Taraka. You leave it. Wada, that means, I don't know, I will come back again or not. <laughs> yeah, it's very well. Yeah. So you are finished, Tawaf Wada. Tawaf Wada have a different opinion, the ulama. Hanafi said wajib, you have to. That means if you didn't do Tawaf Wada, what? You have to pay them. Shafi is a sunnah. Right? And it's good. Because maybe a sister, she has a period. Okay, I have Shafi. <laughs> that means his heart is complete, right? You understand what I mean? So, the different opinion during Had is blessing. Different opinion what? This is the this is the why ulama have opinion. Shafi'i, if you touch your wife, break wudu. Right? Hanafi, Maliki, not break wudu. No, during the Had, if you are stick with Shafi, what happened? Sometimes you have to hold your wife. <laughs> and you're going to touch with the woman, because they're together, right? So you can follow Maliki you now. You, you get it? Yeah. So during Had, this is how, how the Had is, is very flexible. And also it's forbidden to be, no, no, I am Hanavi. You know? So you cannot do that. Or, you know, stick with Quran and Sunnah. Because everybody was, was follow Quran and Sunnah. Malik of Quran, so don't worry, right? It's very, very important. And also, don't try to have argument about the fake issue. You go with the Sheikh, just follow the Sheikh. Halas, you trust the Sheikh, halas. Don't say, oh, maybe, is Sheikh wrong, man? I'm going to ask the question. <laughs> you know, very interesting, even among the Sahaba, during hard time, they did different. Ya Rasulullah, you know, I, I, I made Tawaf, and then I do Jamarat, right? And then I slaughter. He said, Fala Harad, you are okay. The other Sahaba said, Rasulullah, I do Jamarat, and then I make Tawaf, and then slaughter. Call Fala Haraj. The other one, Rasulullah, I slaughter first, and then do Tawaf, and then Jamarat. He said, Fala Harad, you are okay. <laughs> do you understand what I mean? Rasulullah, because sometimes, might be, you know, one time we are have two bus, right? We have two bus. One bus, because before, before they have tunnel, to go to we ride the bus. Right? Not walking at the bus. One bus stop and come out. The second bus, when you stop, the police not allowed to stop. Ya Allah, row, row, row. You know when you row, 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 continue, you are in Makkah now. So they call me, what do you have to do now? Just go to off. Because if you go back, you have to go back to the end of Mina and Karakniya. Wasting your time. So, Tawaf first. <laughs> Look at the blessing how Rasulullah said this hadith. Said, Fala Harad, Fala Harad. Mean, mean, you are okay, you are okay. Right? So therefore, if somebody do this and this, never argument, because all is correct. Right? So we're going to do, uh, you have to start Hajj and Umrah from what? From Miqat. Miqat means the, the limit or the border that you cannot cross, right? Well, Miqat, right? When people come from Indonesia, right? Uh, long time ago, their Miqat is in Yalamlam, Jidda, about 44 kilometers from Makkah. But now it's different because people come to Saudi, everybody go what? Landing in the same place. In airport, in Jidda, King Abdul Aziz. And Jidda, no, it's not in Yalamlam. Jidda is closer to Makkah. So therefore, you cannot wear ihram in the airport. Because you cross the Miqat. Right? So therefore, all the Hajj, all the Umrah, they always, they're wearing ihram when they are transit. If you ride Emirat, that means in Dubai. 
if you are right the what you call Lufthansa in Frankfurt right so whatever they so therefore uh, anyway sorry before you enter airport Jeddah you have to wearing what the ihram already if you come from from uh, Egypt mostly in Bir Ali right mostly the right to be yeah and uh, this is all, all, all the destination yeah if you come oh, sorry sorry Bir Ali Bir Ali people come from Medina sorry Bir Ali. this this is when when inshallah when you are in Medina you won't go Umrah when you come back to Makkah so he, this is Bir Ali right and then it come from Egypt in Rabiq and you come from from other from Iraq in Al Jufa yeah so whatever direction you come but now everybody come from airport right this is the ihram for men right uh, so you have to have ihram before you leave right uh, for women we'll talk about what kind of ihram and ihram it is sunnah to to have the white colors of ihram right now in the hajj there is no certain uh, dua that you have to recite whatever dua you read it is correct the word you didn't say that you know tawaf read this sayyid is did you know that you can you can read whatever you 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 comfortable and you you master it okay the only dua that you have to master it you have to memorize it is only this this is wajib at least once right so say after inshallah labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika laka labbaik innal hamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika lak so start from now you have to memorize this because you are in the bus you are from Mecca, Medina, this is you're going to read. This is the best dhikr. You know, you imagine you are now from Medina to Mecca, there was six hours maybe. This is, you just read this is good. Allah happy. Right? When Muhammad was leaving Mecca, Salabbaik Allahumma Salabbaik, right? Jibril came. Muhammad, ask your companion to raise their voice. Because any rocks, any tree, they hear it, they become witness in the Egypt men. Right? It's a sunnah for men, inshallah, to raise their voice. not You have the spirit. Right? What does the mean? That means Allah, I'm here. I respond to your calling. You know, the, in, in Arab country, if somebody said, Ya Muhammad Ta'ala, Ya Muhammad, Lebeik. That's how to respond in politely. You know, when Ibrahim alayhi salam, after finish building the Kaaba, Allah said, call people. Yeah, Allah, how I call people? There's not even nobody there. He said, don't worry. Go to the mountain of uh, Abu Qubais and you call people. Wa'adhin fin nasi bil hajji adhin. Remember that? Adhin means announce. So Ibrahim make announcement. And you are still in the word of spirit. And you answer it. So inshallah, if you if you are you are written now, inshallah go to hard, that means because you answered it. The baker. Right? Yeah. So different when, when you say the bake, also remember that. I am responding to the you're calling Allah. You know, you call to Ibrahim and I'm here. I'm here. Right? That means also I'm in your service. Also mean uh, Allah the bake, I'm I'm ready. I don't care what happened to me. You know what I mean? So when you do hard, you have to be like like what? Like a statue. Somebody push you, you know, somebody hit you, say alhamdulillah. Because if you're not, you're in trouble. You know, tawaf, some people sometimes, especially uh, uh, there's a group sometimes, they just like, like, a, like a group of cow yeah. is pushing you. And sometimes you was khushu, and sometimes you, you know what the one Indonesian, he went to kiss Hajar Aswad, and a man was crossed him and hit him here. And you know, Indonesian, he lied, he know Kung Fu, was he? He was, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, Hajj, Hajj, Hajj. Ah, <laughs> 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 You realize the control. <laughs> you 
You know, I, I, this, this is very important. Most people, Alhamdulillah, no problem with, with Tawaf, with Jamarat. Plus the problem what controlling your anger. Because you're going to be tired, you may sometimes thirsty, many things will happen. You know, if you, you, if you are tired, you're not sleep enough, you know, people just a little bit make you angry. Maybe with your, your friend in the room. Your stomach ache, no? Somebody take too long in the restroom. Man, come on! <laughs> and then in Mina, you have to make line. You like a lot of like restroom. You have to go to, to, to number one, number two, you have to make a line. Line up. And sometimes, people just cross you. What do you have to do? Right? You fight. <laughs> and sometimes Allah tests you. So remember, everything that happens to you, Alhamdulillah, Allah tests me. Because when Allah tests you, you have two choices, right? To get angry or what? Or patient. <laughs> That's it. There's only two choices. <laughs> but shaitan will come to you. Man, there's too much, man. And, huh? A lot, shaitan. Shaitan is more. <laughs> shaitan bigger there. <laughs> because shaitan doesn't want you to get the, you know, your sin forgiven. Why? The, the goal of shaitan what? To make you disobey Allah SWT. You go to hellfire. That's shaitan, right? He don't want that to happen. And, and you, you, you will be with me, and you'll be a witness with me. That a lot of people, you know, this is what ha why happened. We need, we need Imam to almost, you know, to remind you you are in Hajj and Hajj. Because if not, become two, two things in Hajj. You lost your control because, you, so, you know, in, especially you live in America now. Everything is very nice, right? And then when you come to Makkah, you know, a long time ago, when people go to Makkah, they are suffering and traveling. Right? Das and took long. So that means what? One of the goal of the hard word to be successful in dunya. Look at this. Right? To be happy in akhirah. And safe for hellfire. That's the goal. So the most dua Rasulullah read the dua. The most dua Rasulullah read in, in, in during the tawaf sa'is. Rabbana atina fi dunya. Hasana fil akhirati. Hasana waqina. Other than that. And alhamdulillah, everybody knows it. Dua, right? But you have to know and understand the meaning. Okay? So, I think uh, we'll stop here, inshallah. We'll open the question answer until 1 o'clock. Then we have some announcement and something we're going to give to you, inshallah. So, until 1 o'clock, if anyone, anybody wants to ask question, it's free. Yes? <laughs> Uh, you pray to God uh, behind the covering light. Yeah. So do we have to recite any specific surah protection or we have to recite anything? You can recite anything, but there is sunnah also to read Kulal Kafirun and Kulal Ahad. You know, very interesting in many surah, the, these two is, is recommended, right? We tear also the same, right? Sabihisma and then Kulya and then Kulal Ahad, right? Because this, the combination of negation and affirmative. Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun la abudu la abudu la right? Negation. I will not worship based on Allah, right? And then what? Qul huwa allahu ahad. This called la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha is al kafirun. Illallah is Allah ahad. Right? The combination between negation and affirmative will bring light. This light because of negative and positive put together. Right? Uh, so the sunnah to the kuliah, the first rakah, and then Allah had the second rakah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Second yeah. So, um, when we end up in Marwah, we know that it's hot. One, three, five, seven. If for some reason somebody forgets and makes five or somebody makes nine, we have to give them one hundred. That's good. In any ibadah, if you forget, Oh, how many I make this say, right? Is you get the, the, the last one. For example, do I do five or six? Right? Say five. Like pray, you pray the door. It's four or three. What do you say? Three. Maybe you pray five, it's okay. But you said three or four? Ah, I think four. <laughs> Why? Because three is certainty, right? You want it three is certainty? You doubt it four. Right? You doubt it for because three, you know it already, but I'm doubt. Right? So the same with Tawaf, the same with Sayyid, look at the last one. Right? 
uh, in tawaf is uh, okay. Sometimes you tough, suppose you are in tawaf, you have stomach aches, you bust gas, right? So you make wudu, and you come back, you can continue. So you know where to stop. Not like salat. If you break, you have to be from beginning. But tawaf, you can continue. For example, I do already three. Just continue from three. Right? Just can continue. Yes. So on the terms of the hujjah, after uh, al-jamal al-kubra, and then after tahallul, does that mean tawaf al-ifada uh, can be done without ihram? Yeah, that's right. So as soon as okay, this is called. We have two tahallul. Tahallul awal. Tahalul Tani. Tahalul Awal by stoning, that's you finish Tahalul Awal. So therefore you can shape. Everything is halal now, right? You can use perfume, you can cut the nail, you can whatever you want, right? You can take shower if you want, right? Except your wife. Right? And then after Sai, right, they call Tahalul Thani. She didn't need to shave the hair, but they call Tahalul Thani. Now everything is halal, including your wife. So tahalul awal, when stoning. As soon you stone, what you finish tahalul awal. That means everything become halal now. But you have to shave your hair a little bit, or you trim it. Then what? After you finish tahalul fado sayi, that tahalul sa thani. Yeah, everything become halal now. Uh, somebody was raised their hand before. Yes, sir. Can you explain a little bit more about the Rukun of Hajj? Rukun of Hajj. Rukun means the pillar of Hajj. That means if you miss that, your Hajj is invalid. You have to repeat again. That's what Wukuf in Arafat. You stay in Arafat on the line of the Hijjah and do Tawaf Ifadah. Right? The other, like stay in Mina, Jamarat, if you miss it, you can pay by slaughtering the lamb. You can replace with something, but this one because it's rukun, like pray. No, if you pray, for example, you forget the tahiyatul awal, you make sujud, right? To rakat. You pray, you forget the istifta. You pray, you don't read surah, right? You pray ruku in in ruku, you read fatiha. We go rukun, all at door, you know. <laughs> you forget. Salat is correct, but if you miss ruku. You pray, you're not sujud. Oh man, I didn't make sujud. <laughs> right? This rukun. You have to. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yes. Will there be time to do umrah on behalf of someone else, like an elderly parent? Yes. The ulama have two, two opinions concerning that. Some said okay, some said not. But I think if, if you know that he won't be able, elderly and he won't be able, it's okay. When would you recommend we do that? Uh, during, after you, you are you're going, you're going to stay in Makkah five days. Yeah. Right, so during that time, any time. That's good at night time. It's very easy, Umrah. You guys go, you know, in our hotel, you go turn right. There's, there is almost, you can ride taxi, bus, Umrah, Umrah, Umrah. So you have to go to Masjid Aisha. Right, Masjid Aisha. Uh, and, and from there, you it's, it's good to wearing ihram from your hotel, so you don't wearing nothing. So you go there, you don't wearing backpack, nothing. You go to the Masjid Aisha, you pray to Rokat, that's the Miqat. Uh, so it's very good question. When you are in Makkah now, your Miqat is changed, not in the Yalamlam. Your Miqat, you are become people of Makkah. So therefore, when you go to Hajj, where are you wearing ihram? In your hotel. So you are like Makkah people now. You don't need to go to outpost, right? But when you want to go Sunnah Imrah, you have to go to what? Masjid Aisha. They call Masjid Aisha because Aisha starting the because Aisha when she went to Hajj, she had period, right? And then she have to because she, when you have period, you cannot do nothing, right? Only so if you still have period, if you for some reason you can only do Sa'i, but not Tawaf. Because the Prophet said Tawaf is like Salah. But the different what? You can talk in Tawaf. Salah not. Uh, very good also. In all the ibadat, all the, the ritual of Hajj, you know, you don't need to have wudu. It's good to have wudu, but you don't need. In Mina, in Arafat, in Jamal, no wudu is okay. Only Tawaf. 
Only tawaf you have to have wudu. Sayyino. Huh? Ghusl sunnah? Sunnah, yeah. Take shower sunnah. No wajib. Right? So the only time you have to have what? So therefore for the sister, very important, you know, that the only you have to almost put in your mind is tawaf. Because tawaf you have to have, you have to be clean. Right? So, uh, because sometimes uh, people, for example, during tawaf, it's difficult, right? You have to release. But it's difficult. So wait, wait until finish tawaf. Because sayi, because sayi is basic before, is outside the masjid. Sayi was outside the masjid, right? No, you put masjid, but still, according to the rule, it's outside the masjid. Yeah? Yes. So when you are doing a soy and if you you are past the gas? Yes. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay, so complete the same. You complete it. Go to run. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So when you are in Arfa, before the football you have to go to okay? Yeah. And pray. And then you come back is on the Matarfa. Yeah. Okay. So um when after the prayer, do you need the Wadu to come to the Matarfa or after you don't need it? So, so, like, again, again, you don't need to have wudu in anything except if you're going to pray, you have to have wudu. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, but otherwise, you don't need to have wudu, only tawaf wudu. Okay. Yeah, alhamdulillah, it's blessing. If not, we are difficult because to go to restroom is just not yeah, very there's difficult. Yeah, can you be a cover for, for example, for your dad if they pass away? Yeah, if they're alive, if they're alive, if they're alive and there's no hope, you know, maybe he's paralyzed or handicapped. Yes. But it's still alive. It's not allowed. Yeah. And if you do what you have to, go, you have to uh, go to Masjid Aisha. Do the haram for them too. Yeah, you have to wear the haram. Wear the haram, and you start from from Masjid Aisha. Uh, oh, Masjid Aisha. Masjid Aisha, yeah. And how so, far from Mecca? How far about what? Twenty minutes? Yeah, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes? Yeah, it's close. Not too far. You have to. We have two two places. Because the second one called Jarona. Jarona is written by far. There's two two mikot, yeah. you know. But mostly people go to Aisha because from very close from Makkah. So you have I have to do mine first. Then if well, okay, the, the, you did already when you come. Yeah. There's a khalas. you finish, right? Then the sunnah or sunnah or umrah anytime. Yeah, but you cannot do it before you your 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 your, your what you call it? Your umrah is done. Yeah. Right. Yes. Can you repeat uh, about the Eid? What happens during the day of Eid? There's a lot of rituals happening during the Eid. Oh, during the Eid, uh, we, we, we're living from Arafat, that's all the Eid. And then, mostly, inshallah, you know, if everything, nothing happened, we, we always, uh, on the Eid, we are in Makkah. So we, we, do, we join the Eid. But, <laughs> you join the prayer, and after prayer khutbah, right? During the khutbah, we continue with the tawaf, ifadah, right? You have two choices, you make dua or just listening to the, to the khatib, right? So the, the, the police going to make sure that the, the space for tawaf will be open. You can hear the, the khatib give khutbah. Sometimes I, I make tawaf, I was listening to Shurey must give me khutbah, <laughs> right? And after finishing in, 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 in building, I will explain what's the khutbah about, yeah? Yes. You talked about the accommodation in Mecca. Is it such that you can see the Kaaba and you can stay in your hotel and pray, or do you have to? Yeah, good. In our hotel, they have musalla. Yeah, I think what the second post. Musalla, you can put this in musalla. So there's something maybe you offer sleep and you wake up, you go to haram, it's impossible. So you can go to musalla. And you still get 100,000 because they're connected. All hotel that close to the Makkah is containing. And you, can, you can hear the, the same like what you hear inside. Part of the haram. Yeah, yeah, haram. When you pray, you can see the haram. You are like this in the haram, you see the Kaaba. Exactly in front of there. Or you can go down in the lobby, you know, mostly like on Friday or during, during uh, before the Hajj, you know, if you not come to the masjid in you know, a half hour before, you have to pray in the, in, in the lobby of our hotel. I went at Musallah. Sometimes I pray in Musallah. Right. If you find somebody you're tired, right? You can just pray in Musallah. Right? Yeah. The last question? Yes. 
For uh, slaughtering sacrifice, how is that handled? I assume we're making a payment, and is there a line you go to and you get a ticket that... Yeah. No, no, we already get ticket. Yeah. So we have somebody every year, you know, we shall our, our, our introduce him, he's very bright. His brother Yasin, he was there for maybe what, 30, 20 years or more like that. So he's working to care everything of our slaughtering. It's a very important question because people, sometimes, so not all people in Mecca, they are honest. You know, sometimes they, you give money, slaughter, we don't know. And sometimes even people do hard. He, he do hard for five people, how can we pay for it? Only one for five. They get money, right? So business also is, is working. <laughs> you know, even also be careful. Some people will come to you, hey, you want to, uh, what do you call? Kiss Hajar Aswad. So you have three people, they was, you know, around you. And you pay them something. And then after finish, they're going to follow you. Oh, 200, you not enough. You have ITM, so you <laughs> And be careful. And don't do that because even you kiss, but that means what? He was pushing people. The Prophet said, you know, Omar was very strong, right? He wanted to kiss. That's all, Omar, don't do that. Because Kissing the Hajar Aswad is Sunnah, but hurting the people is haram, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. So, inshallah, uh, before you leave, inshallah, we're going to pray. Before you pray, my wife is going to give you something. Inshallah, I'm his wife, if you don't know me, yeah, and I always send you email uh, all the time. Um, so in, I'm going to give you the package, in, in it is a um, uh, string bag and then the luggage pack and the um, ID part, but the ID is not yet, uh, Inshallah I'll give you when is it ready. And also the uh, the network uh, you can open. Brother Isam, everybody has this one right in the bucket. And then this is for the luggage. This is the luggage bag. You have along your luggage along is two luggage, fifty pound each. 50 pound each, no? if you are, have 60 pound in one luggage, 40 pound, that you're going to get chucked. So make sure 50 pound each and one uh, carry on. Okay? And this is the ID uh, part, and uh, like I said, we don't have the, um, the ID yet. <coughs> and your book might be, everybody have different, some Indonesian, some Arabic, some. And this one is the. Um, you're going to bring it to the masjid. You're going to uh, make sure bring the uh, plastic bag because you're going to put your shoes in here. You cannot put your shoes in the masjid and then when, when you come back, you cannot find your uh, shoes because it's a large masjid and you know, a lot of people. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, this one also, you can put the uh, money. You can put something that... No, I'm, yeah. uh, this one the ID right here, the money inside. No way. Make sure. <laughs> Don't carry your American wallet to the Tawar. Because the Tawar goes a lot. Doing Tawar, they lose their credit card, license. Because you don't need it in Tawar. <laughs> how, how much money should you do? How much money? Okay. 500, 1000 minimum. It depends. But if, you, you're, going if you're going to buy the gift, I think it's better. Uh, by the way, gift is very good. Also, people sometimes just even, you know, perfume, even little jam jam. When you come from Hajj, is for for people who are receive it, it's good. No, because it's not that. The nearest Hajj, but now you are traveling. People come back from Hajj, and the best is is jam jam, of course. The best uh, serving people is Zamzam, you know. 
And uh, it's also like tahadu tahabu, right? Right. Yeah. What about stages? Yeah, it's okay. Everything has status here. Yeah. Okay, in Arabic we have khayt and mukhayyat. So what you have is khayt, stages, right? The forbidden is mukhayyat. That means mukhayyat means you have two fabric and you put together. That's mukhayyat, that's forbidden. So therefore you can wearing wearing uh, in, in Muslim, uh, in Indonesian called sarum. Oh, pen, pen, because you, 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 you mukhayyat. Uh -huh. But ihram, they have khayt. My right? status, that's okay. So the bell that you have status, okay. But where do we get the bell like this and it around? This okay. Okay. Sheikh, are you supplying bell or we need to buy it? You have to buy the bell. Okay. Yeah. So where will we get it? Uh, from Kmart, uh, Kmart, Walmart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, if you miss something, don't worry. They have. Over there, they have stork like Subway called Bin Dawood. Yeah. So you can find everything there. Right? So don't worry if you, you miss something. So what, what kind of sandals? Sandal is uh, the important you open your, your, your toes and the ankle. Okay. Whatever sandal. It shouldn't have any height in it. No, it's okay. Oh, okay. All, all the shoes have height. Right, okay. Yeah. Like, does it have to be plastic? No, no. You know, anything. You know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to be the anchor has to be open. The anchor has to be open, yeah. Because sometimes you have like this, right? And in, in the middle, yeah. Yeah. Sheikh, what yeah. are the clothing of the Iran's clothing? Are you supplying this or we need to buy? You have to buy, yeah. Uh, Iran. You could be online. I think you have some. We have some. Uh, my wife can some. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, inshallah. So the next uh, hard training will be seven. seven. August seven, right? So August seven, inshallah. So, uh, so this is fiqh. This is we, because we still we still have to continue. Uh, we have still a lot of subject we're going to talk, right? About hard restriction, right? Uh, is it going to be on YouTube? Yeah, it will be on YouTube. If you miss this, okay, YouTube. And then we talk about the Hajj uh, facing the Masjid Nabawi. So we, we still have to learn. Then it's a law, we'll talk about the spiritual of all of this. Why Ihram, why, why wearing Ihram, why Tawaf, and so on, inshallah. So all the three Hajj is very important. And the last one, inshallah, we're we hoping the last one, you come here also, you can get your passport back. Right? Alhamdulillah <laughs> وفي الآخرة أسنة وقنا أدب النار سبحانك ما بهملك لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك وصلى الله وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين آمين. So you need anything logistic? Just ask my wife.